Hey my friends, what's going on? Christina back here with another video. I am going to stay in the alpaca lane and I am going to talk to you guys today about the alpaca flight sling. Now this is the original flight sling. This is two liters. Um, if you check the website now, they currently are, are, are doing a pre-order for their new bag, which is a one liter <clears throat> flight sling. And I believe it is exactly the same. It's just a smaller size. So um, just don't get confused when you're looking and checking this on the website, it is a two liter bag. Now, the interesting thing about this bag is I am using this now for EDC and I'm coming off of having been using the Metro Sling V1 and V2. Now this for me, compared to those two bags, this is the winner for me easily. And I'm gonna explain exactly why as I go along. Um, just to start off, it's made with their, you know, traditional Axo Flux, as they call it. It's kind of got that little um, grid pattern that you can see there. It's water resistant. There are two zipper compartments on this bag. They're both water sealed zippers. And then there is a pocket on the back that is not zipped at all. You have the gatekeeper straps. Well, the gatekeeper attachment points on the strap it can be removed completely it is adjustable right here there is some strap management and it has sort of the maglox um, slider that you just can easily slide to remove if you wanted to do it that way the front compartment is on a slight um, curve as you can see there and you've got that Lighter gray um, liner, which is much appreciated. Inside this bag, you have their key tether, which is similar to what I showed you on the Metro Sling version two. It's got this magnetic attachment and um, you'll find this on all of their current bags. It's pretty easy to attach and detach. I really like it. <clears throat> Other than that, it's one dumb pocket. So. I have some rosaries, my lip balm, and some gum thrown in there. But you can see it's got its own dimension. It's it's pretty nice um, size. That's a 16 Pro case to size. This is a 14 Pro Max case. I mean, you could easily put keys and phone in the front or AirPods and phone or keys and phone and other things. It's a pretty sizable. Um, and there, like I said, there is dimension in here, which is nice. I always tend to put my AirPods on this key tether. Um, and that's how I do that. The main compartment does have two zippers. You can obviously place them wherever. I tend to have them both on one side. That just works best for me, but um, you can put them however you want. It goes down like, I wouldn't even say a third of the way. It's almost like a, a fifth of the way or a fourth of the way down. It's not much. And that's my only, my, my, I have two gripes with this bag. One is I wish this went down a little further um, to give a little bit wider access. It is still good access though. Like it's not like I was trying harder to see things, but I just would have liked to pull it down slightly more. Um, and then a the second gripe I'll get to in a second, but this is the inside. You can see there are two slip pockets here, a main area, and then the back wall, sorry, there is a divider here, which has kind of got some firmness on the top to sort of keep that stiff, at least the top portion. This is very soft lined. It's intended for a Nintendo Switch or an iPad mini will also fit. I typically, have my phone in that space and with the screen up against this um, soft part. But again, this will fit a Switch or an iPad mini. Um, I put my pen over here in the, uh, the little loop that the tag is making. I don't actually know if that was intended for the pen or not, but there is no other pen slot that I've seen. So that's what I use it for. Um, I've got a MagSafe battery pack and then I clipped on just a short Sharpie right on the pocket, because again, there's no other pen loop. Just another pouch in there. So those are the two slip pockets. They're e equally sized. And then the main area. So I have a checkbook thrown in here, a, a couple of receipts, 
I have tissues. I have um, some Ad Advil and then my keys. So that is the inside. You can see that depth there, about an inch and a half or, or so, maybe two inches of depth. And again, flip it around. There's the back wall. There is that um, sort of tech pocket, iPhone, iPad mini, switch, or what have you in that back. The back part of the bag, there is a slip pocket here. This is size to fit a passport. So you can do that. I, I have a wallet in here currently, um, but that would be a perfect place for that. Now, sorry, there is no snap or zipper or magnet or anything on this back pocket. So I think it would have been nice to put a little bit of a closure here. This part of the bag is against your body, so it's not a huge deal. I mean, if you're carrying this bag, if you're carrying this bag and the bag is sort of, and you have it turned around and the bag is resting more on, on the back of you, um, then it, you might feel a little bit concerned with this being, you know, with sense putting sensitive stuff back here without a closure, but it is what it is. It's meant for easy, quick access to whatever is back here. Um, and I've been using it for my wallet and it has been working well. My second gripe with the bag is that there is no external attachment points at all. Um, like the Metro Sling version two has, you remember those sort of like loops on the side. There's nothing on this bag like that. So what I did is I just put a, a basic O-ring that you can get anywhere, um, put it on here so I can attach my hand sanitizer but which is fine it, it works pretty well I just wish there was some kind of attachment point someplace um, but there is not so I'm really enjoying this bag this is one of my favorite two liter bags that I have used and the reason why I like this over the Metro Sling version 2 is because of this the horizontal shape if you remember, the Metro Sling version two is vertical, right? So when you open it, even though it opens wide, it's still a vertical top-down type of a thing. And in terms of the comfort while wearing, this I much prefer for me personally. The horizontal shape. I like the opening and then everything sort of laid out like this. For me, I just prefer it. It works better. It's more comfortable. It's more user-friendly for me. And for my EDC. Now, um, others and with other body types and other types of preferences may like a vertical bag better. I have always preferred a bag that has horizontal orientation. And so this was no different. Coming from the Metro Slings to the Flight Sling um, has been the same experience. I just prefer the horizontal layout. Um, if you guys have any questions or about this bag, please let me know in the comments or, or if you've tried it. Um, it would be really great for travel, you know, for, 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 for hustling and bustling through the airport. You need something with easy access with all of your essential items. I think this would be great, but it's also just great for basic EDC. I mean, two liters is a really nice, um, minimal size bag. And I find that it works perfectly. Um, I'm interested in, in trying out the one liter. Um, I don't know that that would be big enough for me. One liters is pretty tight. You can't really fit keys with all the other essentials pretty well in one liter bag. But um, that remains to be seen, I suppose, if I get my hands on that one. But yeah, that's it. Two liters. I'll pack a flight sling. I will link it down below for you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions any comments? What do you like? Do you like the horizontal orientation or do you like vertical? Um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. I will see you soon in the next video.